Hello my friends, today we're back in Luminar Neo and we're learning how to change color of anything in your image. I chose this image because it's one of your worst case scenario where the code, this is what we're going to change is the color of the code, but the code is very similar color to the skin and the background. Everything is kind of just the same tone. So it will be a very difficult selection. And we also have some stray hairs coming over the code here. I will teach you how to deal with that. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to do is separate my foreground from the background. That's my subject from the background. To do so, I will go into layer, click on the plus, and I would load the same image as a second layer. I will increase the opacity to 100% and down with my top layer selected, I want to go into masking and go on portrait background and then remove. And Lumin Luminar Neo will do its best to remove the background and really just leave the person on that layer. So now if I go to my background layer and I will hide it, you will see that we kind of selected the person from the background. I'm going to show layer again and now we work with our person. In order for me to see better what kind of masking I'm doing, I want to change the color here so I really separate it so I can see it. To do so, make sure you're on the top layer selected. I will go to color and I will sh shift the hue to something annoying, maybe something like that. Great. So now we apply this blue not only to the coat, but the person as well. So now we have to mask only the coat in. So I will use a brush, I will go to erase. And when I do masking, I like to keep my brush at around 20 softness. That way it's not too soft, but it's not a harsh line either. And I will start from the bottom up. I'll do command plus to really zoom in. You really want to zoom in when you do masking to make an accurate mask. And now we'll just go ahead and start masking the parts that we don't want to change the color to. And I could speed up this. Maybe I will speed up this. It depends on how long it takes me. I have not edited this photo before, so I don't know how hard it's going to be or how long it will take. But my goal is to probably not speed it up just so you guys can see exactly how long it will take you to make such a selection. And also I want to teach you a little tips and tricks when you're masking that will make your life easier. So let's see, we got the chair done. Now moving into the leg, we have this part of the inner thigh. We have to not forget about that. Here is a trick when you have a sharp corner like this. You want to paint over it just like that. And then you take the paint brush and you make your my uh, lines that are not sharp corners. You see we're pointing back. Oops, went too much there. Going back to the erase. I'm going to erase a little bit more here. Go back to paint. And now by making these lines, I will get my very sharp corner masking there. There you go. Well, the, the leg really needs to be erased as well. So I didn't really help too much. Let's see. Oh, I have to go to erase. I was in the wrong thing. So going just like that. The better selection you're making, the better the effect would look. Go back to paint. Because I went too far there. Go to erase. Here's a little tip for you. If you have a straight line, just click on it. Hold down shift and then go down and click again and it will make a very straight line. And that will help a lot with selections. I can do probably the same thing here. And let's see. We'll go down the leg. All right. Now I'm going to make my brush a lot bigger. Let's see. Over here. I'm trying to move as quick as I can so I don't bore you guys to death. But I also don't really want to speed it up because I want you to see all the things that I'm going to encounter and how I deal with them. Oh, 
When you go on the edges, you really wanted to have a small brush. You see, I tried to do that with a bigger brush and the feathering, it just kind of got in the way and it went to the parts that I didn't want. So you wanna be as zoomed in as you can and, you know, small brush. I'm doing this with the mouse. I should have used my pen. Maybe I was a little bit more accurate. But it's working. It's just a little bit slow. Let's see. We're going to fill in these parts now. Like that. Now we have to do the hand. Make the brush smaller. We work on the fingers. Make the brush bigger. Fill in the parts that we did. Great. And let's see, now we have another sharp corner here. So I'll just go over and then with the paint, I will smaller brush. Fill it on like this. Alright, I'll make my brush bigger. Uh, zoom out, command zero to fit to screen. I can make my brush a lot bigger and just really fill in this leg. There you go. And that looks good. Now all we have is this arm and the head. I can go with a big brush and kind of do the bulk of the head and some of this hair. Then Command Plus to zoom in again. Let's see what we have. We have to go, we have to go over here where the coat is. Make my brush smaller. We have a straight line, click, hold down Shift, go down to here. There you go. I went a little bit over there. So I will go to the paint, fix this little part of the jacket and made a mistake again. I'm trying to rush for you guys, but you know, you should take your time. Command plus, I'm going to zoom in so I can see it even better. There you go. We are doing great. Almost done. Make my brush bigger. Just go around the edge over here. All right. What are we doing here? Oh, this is the arm. Great. All right, now we need to paint a little bit in here. Make a little bit better selection. And then erase the fingertips.
All right, let's see. Now we are part of the neck and we're almost done, you guys. Oops. Just keep going back and forward between paint and erase. We're getting close to our problematic hair selection there. I'm gonna fill in the neck parts. All right, you see how you guys, we have these little strings of hair over here. Well, what we want to do is we can't really select them, but what we want to do, we want to really, really zoom in. And then with the erase, with a very small brush, just run a couple of those strings, just because that way it would look like they're stray hairs. And when you're close up, it looks horrible. And you think, oh my God, how is this going to look? But when you back it up, and you look at the whole image, you really, it will look natural. So I'll just do a couple of those strings and maybe one over here, just a couple of them, just like that. And let's see, zoom out, command zero to fill to screen. You see, it looks completely normal. We are, we missed some parts over here on the leg, it looks like. Let's make sure we didn't leave any blue on the skin. All right, great. Now we have a selection. So we are back to the adjustments and now we can shift the hue to whatever color we want. And you see you guys, it took a while to make the selection, but we can pretty much change this coat now to whatever color we want. And if you want even more color colors than what you can get with the shift, you can of course work with the saturation and hue and luminance. But you can also go to your masking because we did such an awesome mask. We can go to masking, go to mask action and you can copy it. And then you can go into toning, masking, mask action, and you can paste it. And then here into the adjustments into toning, you can increase the amount to 100% saturation to, you know, 80, 90%. And now we can add even more toning to these colors to get a little bit variation. And of course we can increase, decrease saturation, change this code to whatever we dream of. If you have a color in mind, I'm sure you can make it happen. And this is how I would change color to anything in Tool Luminar Neo. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.